Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. And we are going to finish Peak. We are going to finish Peak Fiction right here. We are going to see the beautiful conclusion to this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful story. How the hell do I get back? How do I leave? B button? I honestly don't know how to leave. The sound test screen. That worked. There we go. I don't know why that didn't work at first. I was worried. I mean, not that I want to leave the sound test screen. The music goes hard. But, you know. We gotta do what we gotta do. Story select. Ladies and gentlemen. It is time. Get my screen up here. Alright. So, disclaimer. This could... Hold on. Yep, we are going. We're going. We're good to go. Disclaimer, this could take anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours. It probably won't take two hours. I've played this enough to where I, the parts I struggle, I shouldn't struggle too much. Um, like, I think I've gotten better with Knuckles swimming. You just got to get the pattern down. Um, the Bio Lizard, I stink at, though. I cannot, no matter how many times, like, I try. And I feel like that's part of the experience, because like I said, there's there's tricky bosses in the first game, but I know them. I've beaten that game 50 plus times. This game, I've beaten like four times. And I don't have it memorized. It's not ingrained into this noggin like the first one is. So we might struggle on the bio lizard. I might even die a couple times on the final boss. But once you get that pattern down with a little bit of luck, you can kind of get through it. But the Bio Lizard, oh my goodness, am I so bad at the Bio Lizard. So pray for me. Last story, Heat Fiction. Here we go. <laughs> what I like to hear. I have a feeling it'll take roughly an hour, but, you know, in case things go really bad. If they... I had a feeling they wouldn't put anything like this in the movie. You know, him being alive was a surprise to me. I love this, too. Sonic and Knuckles hanging out. I love when those two are a dynamic duo together. You haven't given up yet? It's all over for us. What do you mean? Just received a message from my boss. This space colony arc is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on screen? Yeah, like this would have like this is him on his on the chair essentially. It's like I love all these Like I said, I am not against him being alive in the movie, but they need to do it right. Because him being dead here, like, he was driven to madness by the death of Maria and, you know, the whole, everything that happened. Like, I'm curious to see how they do it instead, is what I'm trying to say. Toot your own horn, you dick. I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? 
you're still alive. Just letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. this? <laughs> This is my grandfather's Just talking over each other. The witty banter, I love it. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Mm. Is it a mistake to create, create the, the ultimate, ultimate life form? form? I thought it would be something Thing that would benefit, benefit mankind. mankind. But then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The car was completely shut down, probably to keep the prototype from falling into the wrong hands. The ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. name among those who died when the ark was shut down she meant everything to me and i couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research i lost everything i had nothing more to live for i waited saying all i could think about no i said the first one has a good story and it's a great 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 story 10 out of 10 but as you're experiencing this game's story it doesn't touch it. That is the one aspect where this game blows the other one out of the water, is the story. It's just slightly worse executed in this game, but it's miles better. If you wish to fill the world with destruction, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. The Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather. That mad scientist. Hey, shut the fuck up. Rouge, you know everything here, man. Really. Honestly. You're the one that told me that the Master Emerald has the power to stop the Chaos Emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the Chaos Emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emerald thing, Knuckles. is moving toward the cannon core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, Hell yeah, Ag, man. we will be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. I feel like I'm looking at a Metroid Prime map right now. No worries. Just leave it to me. I'm the world's fastest hedgehog. Then let's get to work. All right, here we go. Final stage, Cannon's Core. Lock in. Let's do it, Tails. Okay, I'm just gonna pass you then. Hi. All ah, right, I forgot time travel. Or time stoppage. Hell yeah, final stage. Heat fiction. I might die. I died. I was not expecting to die there. Not take damage. Want the monkey? Got him. I hate those things. Like I said, the existence of those things and the fact that they brought them back for Shadow the Hedgehog, I fully understand why Shadow felt the need to carry guns in Shadow the Hedgehog 2005. It makes perfect sense. 
You cannot defeat those things easily without a gun. Too, aren't you? Well, I, I gotta jump down. I know what I have to do. Nice miss. Don't take a ton of damage from this guy. Nice. 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 Gimme. Alright, we need to stop that and get on here. That's it. Lock in. Alright, Eggman, let's do it. Who would have thought Eggman saving the world? Hey, it's like he said in... You know, he does technically save the world in this game, too. So, like, I guess it makes sense for him to feel that way in the movie. It's just in a different tone. I mean, I mean, for fuck's sake, the guy's portrayed by Jim Carrey. Of course, it's in a comedic tone. <laughs> what do you expect if you weren't expecting that? So I guess I shouldn't be mad that it's not a more serious tone. Like I said, just a little more villainous presence would be nice. I would like to see that. Um, why would I grab that? That's just a waste of time. Oh, because now it's hard to... No, never mind, I got it anyway. Die. Yeah, no, this part's tricky. Nah, it's too soon. Ah, nah, I... Can I turn it off? No, I can't. Just makes it go longer. Yeah, I... No, I can get on there. Okay, cool. Oh, God. But not easily. There we go. That'll do it. Alright, now where do I go? Um... Okay, I don't care if they're moving. That's fine. Trying to figure out where to go here, though. That's the tricky part. Oh, no. That's not good. That's really not good. Can I just hang out here? Yeah, it works. Sure. Okay. Um, let's just not touch that. I have no idea where to go. Oh. Okay. Ah! That's what I was waiting for! <laughs> Fine. Should be one coming here now. Nice. Alright, um, now where the hell do I go? I can't rotate the camera or anything, so that's not cool. Oh, there it is. There it is. Da -da -da -da. Nice. Got ourselves out of a pickle there. Oh, we're hitting that. I thought we were hitting a different switch. Oh, God. Alright, I got one ring. That's fine. Yep, take that. Without a doubt. Oh, piss and shit. No, you leave me alone. I said leave me alone. Yep, there's another one. There's two more, actually. Oh, God. Um, just go this way. Yes. Good. Good execution. Kiss. No. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Get him! Don't die! 
hard. Big platform indeed. Um, what if I just do this? Oh, okay. Well, now I don't have any rings. It's unfortunate. Alright, um, I can't see. Oh, that's a problem. Fucking die. I hate these things. Alright, we're where we need to be. Nice, I thought I could make that, and I did. Yeah, we can't get up there. Um, try over here. There we go, that'll do it. That'll do it. Alright, security bots anything? No? Cool. Excellent. Alright. Just gotta remember how to do this. Excellent indeed. Let's see, do I remember how to do this? Um, I think I need to get in there? Or no, Knuckles needs to go in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, her part doesn't take very long. Wait, wait, what, 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 get in? What? All right, I'm missing something here. I'm not remembering everything. Talk to me. What capsule? What are you talking about? You mean, is this the capsule? Is that the capsule? That would be the capsule. Oh boy. Hey, we don't want that to happen. Alright, um... Oh wait, no, we can just kind of... Yeah, it's hinting at it. I can just kind of walk through there now, right? No, I can't. I'm missing something. I don't know what I'm missing, but I'm missing something. If I know what I'm doing, I'm pretty sure Rufus' part does not take very long. Oh, wait, there's a door back here. Yep. That's it. Excellent timing. All right, screw you. All right, great, great. Um. You saw me, that's not in my fucking fucking fox sucker. Right, get, get out of that thing's way. I don't know why I went straight into that. Leave me alone! Eat shit. Chow Garden. Now. Eh. Uh, oh no, we. Maybe? Ah, oh, It's a little off. Uh, all right, so that's not on a timer. That'll do it. Oh, I can hear you. I hate this part. Let me be clear on that. Absolutely despise it. 
It's catching my breath. Let's hydrate. Let's de-stress. Let's let's relax. War never changes. Talk to me, little buddy. Oh, I know. Psychopath who made what psychopath designed this level that makes you swim through there with knuckles with these swimming mechanics, no less. Yeah, you know, there's a switch. Maybe not. Can I just jump through that? No. Let's go down. War never changes. Knock knock its knuckles, the Olympic swimmer. There was one up here, but okay. Right, let's regain our breath here. Or oxygen, I guess I should say. We're off to war. We need oxygen. There should be a bubble in here somewhere. No? You're kidding. Fucking shit, man. There's gotta be an oxygen bubble in here. Where? This is why I hate this level. I have no idea where those are. Let me start that. Alright, before we hit the time thing... Let's be smarter here. Let's find an oxygen bubble, if there is one in here. They, and they're usually, like, in the corners. So fuck you. We're gonna... I hate this. There isn't one here, is there? There's not one in this room. Sonic Adventure 1 would never... Never. Yeah, eat shit. Psychopath designing this level. Like to have a word. I was looking for, like, an oxygen bubble so I could reset, like, you know, so Knuckles wouldn't drown. Alright, um... But I don't think there's one here. I, there's gotta be one. I'm gonna waste all my lives. And I'm gonna have to re end up restarting this thing from the beginning. I hope that I can just get infinite one-ups in the middle here. I can, because that's the only way I'm going to survive this. No, you can't. Fuck off. I'm going to end up having to restart this whole thing. This is what I was worried about. This is why I said it could take two hours. I just think objectively, this is dog shit game design. This portion of it right here. There are oxygen bubbles, right? Or is that rings? I, I, I remember there being oxygen bubbles, I know that. I could be wrong, but I... Yeah, there, there's one. Fuck you, they just appear where they want. and load here. Now, there has to be one in this room. I'm almost positive there is. <sighs> go back, go back. Oh, come on, I hit...
This is objectively not fun. I do not want to have to restart everything. I really don't. The fact that this is also the fourth mission is psychotic. Absolutely psychotic. Alright, so if we don't get that on the first try, we just need to come back here, essentially. Hell, even then we might not get it. I don't know. I don't know why. I, I could have sworn there was a bubble in here that you could get oxygen at. That's it. Go. 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 Oxygen. Please. Where? 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 We are gonna end up, we are gonna be restarting this. This is I I'm going in blind here. There's gotta be more oxygen than that one bubble, otherwise you can't beat the level. This is like This is peak video game frustration right here. Can I go through the lasers in the starting area? I don't know. Oh, hey, here's that thing I was looking for. I couldn't find that before. There we go. Aha! I'm stupid. Ignore me. I had one of my moments. to God. Okay, now we're back on track. Don't mind me, I had one of my moments. This still objectively sucks, but like... What? Oh, right, we need to stop time, I bet. Yeah, yeah all of you die. Shout out to Bright Nice for the tip, by the way. Much needed. I was losing my mind. As I tend to do. Um, we do need to stop time, right? Or is this just a... Do I hit this and that's it? Do I just go back now? I guess I'll find out. I hate this level with a burning passion. Hey, Sonic the Hedge... Hedge... Hedge God? Head gun. Alright, well, let's get our oxygen back at least. Let's not die. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, it feels like there has to be one there. But yes, yeah, so welcome, Sonic the Head Hedge God. Hedge. Oh, no, it's a C. I'm sorry, I, I thought the O was. I thought the C was an O. <laughs> Close enough, but welcome. Did I go through the right door? I didn't. I didn't. I'm gonna lose another life. Come on, we can still save this. Alright, let's not be stupid. Let's not be stupid. Alright, it's this upper level, yes. Alright, so we're gonna go back up to the top, and then go back in. Alright. The speed boost. Go. Where are we? Where are we? There we are. I don't think that matters for anything, really, but still. Right, head to the nearest oxygen bubble. As soon as we get in there. It's anxiety-inducing. It really is. Alright. I was gonna say, that remembering what I remember, it is the feeling, yep. Good call, bright nice. Time travel. Actually, no, I didn't get a good enough start there, and I want to have a fresh batch of oxygen. So let's try that again. Good.
Come on. Knock, knock. It's Knuckles. Knock, knock. It's Knuckles. Yes. All right. There's one all the way down at the bottom here somewhere. I know it. There it is. Okay. All right. Right, typically what I do is hang around here, catch my breath, recharge. Alright. We are recharged. Big! <laughs> I love that shit. I love it. never changes. As we will soon find out, because Bio Lizard. Gotta go fast! Time travel! No, aim for the head. No. Oh. Forgot it. That that always. Uh, we may have to restart this anyway. I'm one mistake away. I forgot you don't go down there. It looks so inviting to go down. Oh my goodness. All right, let's. I mean, what do I do? Yeah. Well, now what? And then what do I do? There we go. Now what? Unlocks the door, yeah. They eat shit. Wait, hold on. Do I? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't die here, right? No, okay. We need to hit the time travel button thing. Oh, fuck it. Crap. Well, how do I hit it then? Where's the chow? Talk to the chow. Talk to the chow. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's great. What can I do about the rushing wall? Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, bounce? Yeah, that's it, that's it. Forgot I had that. Aha! What? Are you kidding me? Sonic Adventure 1 would never. Sonic Adventure 1 would never. I never feel like I have a clear direction in this game. At least not in the final story. Not the final two acts of the final story. Wait. Do I go under there? No? Okay. I'm supposed to get over there, right? No? I don't know. No, that's not it. Hell no. Oh yeah, no, yep, you are right. Roll, I see it now. I was rolling the wrong way. I see it. Good. Okay, great. Clear, clear the electrical disturbance. Yep. Wait, no, we, we do go down here, right? Oh, fuck, fuck, no! From the top. Oh, wait, it doesn't make you restart from the beginning, does it? Oh, no, it does, it does. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. This will probably take two hours. Die. Alright, let's get whatever one-ups we can along the way. What killed us was Knuckles there. Because Knuckles has absolutely no direction to... Knuckles level is a game design sim. I will I will call it that. It is a game design sim. Sonic was skill issue. 
A little bit of jank on the second path, but... Knuckles level is straight up a video game to sin. Can we not? Let's, let's not. Let's, let's not do that. Exit. Yes. <laughs> Just exit. Restart it entirely. Story select. My Amy Rose. This game is not doing anything to make me change my opinion that Sonic Adventure 1, despite this one having an infinitely better story and being more well-liked, is a better game. <laughs> Those fucking things, uh, Artificial Chaos, I believe they're called, are dog shit. Fucking... yeah. You just have to take a hit. <laughs> All right, let's lock in. The voices are getting louder. All right, no deaths. No deaths until we get the no, no deaths at Knuckles either. Just no deaths. I believe once you get to the Bio Lizard, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, that's like a checkpoint of sorts. I'm not certain on that. I certainly hope it is. are getting louder. There. Good. Run. Let's not do anything stupid here. No! No! No, do not get stuck under there! That is jank and a half. That's jank and a half. Oh my goodness. This is, go this is gonna take two hours. Sonic Adventure 1 would never. This game needs a remaster more than any game I've ever played. I've said that before. There's plenty about it that does not age well. Die. Like, I firmly believe this game is much more jank than Sonic Adventure 1. Like, never once have I got stuck underneath something in that game. Die. Good. All right. Happy thoughts. Here we go. And this is where we lock in. No death run. Here we go. Design sin. This is typically how it works with me. If I die once, it gets worse. There are plenty, plenty of game design sins in this video game. Alright. I'm not doing anything different here either. It's just, it just keeps happening. I'm just ignoring you. Goodbye. Give me the monkey. Hell yeah, that worked for some reason. I'll take that. No, no, no! Let's keep a track of the game design sense. That should not be able to happen. Why would I want to go back? Up? 
I just want to get the shadow so we can experience peak fiction. I don't need to take th these things out. It's just like fucking hell, man. Just land on the platform. Stupid. In the whale. Lock in. Alright, yep, I know these things are here. Yep, die, die, die. All of you die. need to lock in. I hate these fucking things. Die. Die. Both of you die. I don't want to have to take two hits on these. Honest to God, man. Honest to God. Fucking hell, no, no, no camera angle change like that. What the fuck? Die. Huh. Like, I know I'm supposed to grab that thing and go down, but, like, why would that even happen? Alright. Good. Go. I believe this one also travels upward. I believed wrong. This one does. That's the one I was looking for. Now that we know what must be done... I can take a hit. Okay. Yes, give me that. Alright, here comes that fake floor. That I guess it just happens no matter what. No. No. And no. What? Was there? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Fuck. That's okay. Ah, shit, no! Do not... It just shot me through that gap there. Not cool. Good. Set myself up perfect. Alright. Alright, now that we know what we need to do, this next part should be the easy part. And boy, do I hope once I get to the Bio Lizard, I am just at the Bio Lizard. Because if I die... This is why, originally, I wanted to give this portion of the game its entire day on Thursday, but... I t overestimated my skills and thought I could do them both in one day without losing any sleep. I was wrong. Alright, I already forgot. Um, oh yeah, it's down there. Yeah. Yep. Right. Just in time, it looks like. Yep. Die. Chow Garden. Die. 
hit switch. You now I don't think I timed that right. Well, we should have done that after the switch anyway. All right. Um. Ah, a little late. Oh, sure, you won't just let me wedge through there, but you'll let me wedge through two obstacles and shoot me into the hazard below. Nice. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, right, yeah, we can't get through if the water's running. Forgot about that. Okay. Whatever then. All right, well, he needs to go if the timing's that tough. Let's see. Fuck you. All right, restart it. Just restart. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, we need to get that out of the way. I think it's in the way again. Oh, well, maybe not. Yep. Run! Da -da -da. Like I said, I never claimed to be good at this game. Ooh, you keep falling off the ledge there. Oh, well, I can hear you. Back to the war. go. I don't even know why I would let you go back in that one room, to be honest. That's just misleading. Game design's in sin number, like, seven? See, I almost did it again. It's just inviting. It's an open door right in front of you. They should just close that. You could die. Any rings. Oh, wait. Over here. It's the bomb. Yes. I also don't like how when you touch the bubble like that, it, um, like, shoots you downward. That makes it really discombobulating, like, when you don't want to hit the floor in the next room. Like, right here, like, when you grab this, it, like, pulls you downward for some reason. Like, if you're not in the right spot, you will lose your rings. Hi, big. I love that. No reason for that, but that's just, that's just, that's just great. I love stupid stuff like that. Just big the cat just being inserted into the game. Much better. Much better. Pardon me? Let's do this, Sonic. Gotta go fast. We got a full set of lives this time. Should be able to combat against any minimal jank we might see. Yeah, like this, like this, like this! Give me my ring! I need my ring! I need my ring! I need ring! Good. In hell. Why, well, I'm stuck? Excuse me? Why? War never changes. No, 
Oh god, it like pulled me down there a little for some reason. Jesus. They should give me another checkpoint, honestly. Like, when was the last checkpoint I had? That was, uh... Well, I guess that's only for Eggman's level, because I would restart at Sonic's level here. Alright, get ready for some jank. Here we go. Alright, I think I'm supposed to just let it take me. Yeah. I think. No? That's not what I'm supposed to do. So I need to fight that somehow. Okay. Good to know. I, I didn't know that. I haven't watched playthroughs in this game. I just watched it. Thursday, anybody? Fuck that. Fuck that so hard. Go. Die. Go back. My hands are sweaty. Hold on. We need to pause. It won't let me. There we go. Oh, no. I do really hope once you get to the final boss, it just lets you, you know. Can we not? Can we not? Holy fuck. The war. All right, let's fight this however I'm supposed to fight it. Okay. Okay, so this is this is the way I'm supposed to go. How am I supposed to know that otherwise? Is this the way? Yes. Good. I don't know why they would put you in that position. Yes. Yes. Give me the E that I deserve and move on. Barely made it. Oof. At least we get to enter the Chow Garden. Whatever that's worth. Nice place to decompress before the one thing I maybe hate more than Knuckles swimming. I don't know what to do here. I'm leaving. Four hundred thirty-four rings. Oh, I hate it when they leave me behind. Yeah, it's your entire character arc in this game, Amy. We know. Look, it's Shadow. He's brooding. Leave him alone. Let him do what he wants. I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must exactly. I. It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be. I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never they're basically give up on good. their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Trigger. Shadow, I beg of you, please do it for me. Maria, for all people who live on that planet, give them a chance to be happy. Despite all the frustration, it's worth it to get to this point. Shadow the Hedgehog. I promised her. I must keep that promise. 
He cried. Go get him, Shadow. Hands are sweaty. Had to turn on the fan. Especially before this fight. Makeshift What's Master that? Emerald Altar. It looks just like the shrine of the Master Emerald. They probably designed the core like the shrine to harness the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Sonic and Knuckles, the dynamic duo. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the worst bosses I have ever faced. Could this be the I will explain as I go through. That was supposed to be encapsulated? Leave this one to me. Shadow, what are you doing? I'll take care of this while you run to get the Chaos Emerald. It's shadow time, ladies and gentlemen. Why do I only have two? Oh, I did only have two lives, that's right. If this makes me restart the whole story, I might just go to bed. I hate this level so much. There is nothing I hate more than this. Like, that can wash you away at any second, and it makes you, like, you can't see what's in front of you. That is objectively bad design. Like, straight up terrible. I will not hold back on the bio lizard play. Like everything else, you can attribute to skill issue. Like the knuckles struggles, um, bad design kind of, but like also skill issue. The Sonic was straight up skill issue. Um, the tails deaths on the second run, skill issue. This is bad game design. Like to put a hazard like that that could just wash you away and end the fight. Oh right, forgot that happens now. I'm also terrible at dodging those. I can usually survive it, though. I'm bad at dodging it, but I can survive it. It's when the jank takes over that I usually can't do it anymore. I just don't know how you predict when that's about to come up. You kind of just need to keep the right distance, and then there it is. Yep, just react. Alright, here comes this shit again. Okay. We're in a rhythm. I figured it out! Oh, god. Game gamed up. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. Three more hits. <laughs> Ooh, fuck. I wanted more rings, so... Took my shot. There we go. Alright. Now start shooting him low again. Or don't. See if I can. I'll just recollect my rings afterwards. I don't know what to do about those. They just get wider. As... Yeah. How was I getting him to shoot low? Oh, he's just shooting high. Just keep it going. Just keep doing that. That's fine. There we go. What's he doing? Oh, wait. Now this is... We're starting uh, phase two here. Okay. This part is jank. I hate this part. No. Aim for... Yes. Do not aim backwards. I pointed forward, for the love of God. Yep, good. Those upper ones, I just can't do. 
It's better to just take the hit because you'll shoot yourself into the water and drown. Like right there, I have no no risk of sh getting shot into the water. I just think this fight is bad. See? Now I have no rings. Get away. Do not aim backwards. Hit him. Grab the ring. Grab a ring. Okay. Good. Good. Now what's he gonna do? What happens here? Is this just... Hell yeah! First try! Eat shit, Bio-Lizard! Get out, you ugly prototype! I'm pretty sure they changed that dialogue in Generations, which... From what I understand, this is meant to be like his brother, like as a test subject sort of thing. So that makes sense. I like how Knuckles is here just to watch in awe at what's happening. Well, I mean, he has, he's the Master Emblem guy, so he has to be there. Seven Chaos. Chaos is power. Enriched by the heart. The is the one that unifies the Chaos. Shadow. Since we stopped the Chaos Emeralds, why is the space colony still on a crash course to Earth? Shadow, buddy, your head just tilted straight up backwards right now. Like, you are like, you're like, just straight up like that. <laughs> I love his expression. I love that. I love that from Knuckles. This motion did not age well. But they did not think about that at the time. Obviously. Okay. Now, hopefully I don't die here, because I don't want to have to redo all that. I don't know if I have time to redo all that. I mean, I guess I would redo it. You know, I have, I have standards. you right back where you came. Live and learn. Hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Right, this story gets a little tricky. Yep. Hell yeah. How am I supposed to focus with Crush 40 wailing in the background like this? You up inside. Yeah, these are those are tricky. You can barely see them coming. Oh, God, one must have got me off from off screen. 
Yeah, it's great. I'm kind of just trapped in a corner by these beams right now, though. Ooh, God. I thought it wasn't going to give me it. Holy shit. All right, Shadow, let's finish this thing off. Come on now. Just clipped me. Okay, come on. You're up for another run. Now right, we know it's gonna come back down. Boom! First try! Live and learn, ladies and gentlemen. Live and learn. What a finish after an absolutely ass first run. That's how we do it. I must destroy all the evil the professor has created. Name a more iconic duo, ladies and gentlemen. Name a more iconic duo. No way that's getting through. Shadow, I beg of you. Maria. Give them a chance to be happy. you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. Love you, Shadow. Always will. Despite this game's faults, as I said, the story is peak. It's the best story in Sonic. Um, despite the flaws, Nothing, nothing beats that ending. Like, it's, it's all worth it. Like, the Knuckles swimming, the jank, the bio lizard, everything. It's all worth it. Just to experience peak fiction. I cannot wait for the day that these two games get remastered. I really can't. That way people can stop making fun of them and appreciate them for what they are. That the professor created him, Shadow to carry out the revenge on all those who live here on Earth? He was, was what he was. A brave, brave hedgehog. Heroic hedgehog. He gave his life to save this planet. Shadow the Hedgehog. I guess you're right. Not to say a lot of people make fun of it. Most people don't. But there are the people like, you know... Oh, wait. I'll get to that. I love this from Eggman. What I do know is we all did it together. Shut the fuck up, Tails. You ruined it. So what's next for you, Rouge? Off again to find those jewels you love so much? Nah, I think I'm gonna give up this line of work. Too much work, but too little pay. <laughs> anyway, I've got something better than jewels that I'm thinking about. Elaborate. It'll all work out. You'll see. If you say so. Created the ultimate life form. What's the matter, Sonic? Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let's go home. Do the planet as cool and blue as me. Sayonara. Shadow, the Hedgehog. Anyway, as I was saying, you know the popular, the 2010s, very popular era to make fun of Sonic. People were even making fun of these games. 
So just remake them, and they do need some fine-tuning. Some maybe better audio mixing, better voice acting, remove a little bit of the jank. But for their time, fantastic games. Again, the first one's better, I'm sorry. I, I, I like the first one a lot more. Not a lot more, just reasonably more, but... You know. Yeah! Another hot take I have is I think Open Your Heart's a better song than this. Yeah, that's, I guess they, it seems like they skipped that, this era. There were rumors that they were remaking Sonic Heroes. They'll, like I said, they'll never, never remake Shadow the Hedgehog with, um, the type of game that was. They will never. And if they do, it won't be the same game. Um, they didn't remake Adventures. They haven't remade a Sonic Riders yet, to my knowledge. They have not remade Unleashed yet, which that's sort of, that's Wii era, but still. Um, and they will never remake 06 just because of the, uh, what it did to the franchise. Even though I think it would be great remade. You know, without that time travel nonsense at the end. But yes, this, these two games will be remade eventually, and I cannot wait for that day. And probably packaged together, I would imagine. Hell, maybe they'll re make a Sonic Adventure 3. Very unlikely, but still. I don't play drums, I just pretend to. A new day brings new adventure. But for now... Rest easy, heroes. <sighs> Good old Shadow the Hedgehog. 2024 is the year of Shadow the Hedgehog, by the way. So I didn't make that clear. Oh, what a fantastic game. Despite the headaches, what a fantastic game. No. That just straight up takes me there. Nice. <laughs> I only got four on this? I thought I had more. Jeez. Back to game. Bonus video? What's the bonus video? Was this like a commercial for it or something? Yeah, I don't think I think that's just a Steam thing. That's what I'm guessing. I have to fire it up on the old cube. Find out for sure, but I, I doubt that's a thing in there. Credits more or less. Oh, that's it. It's just they just showed those two, and that's it. Oh, there's more. Okay, this wasn't in Sonic Adventure One, was it? Uh, Sonic Adventure Two is really a much more streamlined game than Adventure One. You've got Sonic and Shadow with their high-speed action, Tails and Eggman. With is this like on a GameCube disc too? Shooter stages, and lastly Knuckles and Rouge with their treasure hunting. I especially like the latter half of the game, where the hero side and dark side converge, and the characters team up for that final stage. It's an action game, but I think that especially in that latter half, it has a really dramatic story. Back I enjoy game history. One, there were all sorts of things I wished I could have done, and when we made Adventure 2, I was finally able to put them in there. We wanted to add a game element that fans would want to come back and play again and again. Chow Garden. So that's why we implemented the whole Chow system. The Chow are these creatures that evolve. I've never seen this before. This is cool. Through the game. They undergo changes like 
They'll grow wings. You all know me, I'm a sucker for uh, video game history and whatnot. And so the initial base chow can't have any special characteristics that make it stand out in any way. Personally, I'm not all that good when it comes to coming up with things that are cute and <laughs> But one of the female artists on my team came up with some ideas to fit what we needed. She's presenting the ideas to us. At that point, none of us could really tell if they were appealing or not. All we said was, oh, okay. But once we put it all together... This would have to be on the disc. See them I would think. On the screen. I could be wrong. Coming to life. I thought, yeah, that's good. That is good. I don't know if this is something we've ever told anyone, but back when we were Secrets? working on Sonic Adventure 2... We were living in San Francisco. Back when? So we had cars, but... Back when? Get a little so this must be like a re so maybe somewhat recent interview. So they must have like put this on here or something recently. What, or Steam, I don't know. Or so. Anyhow, there were these little cars that would go around passing out the parking tickets. And these people were just doing their job, but still... I did not expect to end this with some like Sonic Adventure 2 development lore. Thinking, uh, there goes another 30 bucks. <laughs> so, in one of the stages of the game, this little car shows up, and Sonic can attack it and just destroy it. It's like, all right, revenge. <laughs> we were doing little things like that. I love this. <laughs> Back in the Genesis days, there wasn't really a lot of communication going back and forth between the development teams that were in Japan and the marketing teams that were in the US or Europe. Sonic as a character has had something about him that's more Western than Japanese. It actually wasn't very rare for us to find out after the fact that the names of characters or so other things had been changed to something completely different. And back on the Genesis, the only change had been that Dr. Eggman had become... I was wondering if it would tell me how long the video is. I don't know if I have time for the full thing. Sonic Adventure for the first time. Yeah, that's fine. That was some cool history there, though. Because I do, I do need to get to bed. Interesting. Looks like I got some work to do. Sound test. Were they from 2001? It, the way they talked, they're just like back when we were developing. So it's it just like, it seemed like it must have been like more recent than that. It's just interesting. Well, I'm going to research that now, for sure, but... Alright, so, I, I've given my final thoughts, essentially. It, it, feel, it feels recent, like, just based on... Because I, I feel like they wouldn't say back when, unless it was at least, like, five years later or something like that. Or it could be, because they were translating, too, it could have been a translation issue. live and learn out on this thing. Screw it. Well, yeah, that's uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Timeless Games. One slightly more timeless. Actually, no, they're both equally timeless. One gameplay-wise is more timeless. The other one story-wise is more timeless. They're both timeless equally. And that will end that revisit. This was uh, this was one I wanted to do for a while, especially after like two months ago when I went to the Sonic Symphony. I really, really, really wanted to play it immediately, but I forget what I, I did. I played something else that I was really into at the time. I don't know what it was. NES World Championships, I think, was one of them, because that was coming out soonish. 
but other things too. But yes, so we will continue the revisit train. I know I've been all over the place gameplay wise. I haven't been consistent with my usual stuff, but I kind of need a break from Paper Mario for a couple weeks. And just it's feeling more like, you know, even, even if you love a game, it starts to feel like a chore after a while if you play it too many times. So just take a break for a couple weeks. I'll watch some streams, get my game back up, you know. Um, I'd like to get a Metroid Prime run in soon, but that probably won't be till later in the year. Um, I want to get back to Star Fox. I could see that happening, not this week, but the next couple weeks. Do some runs. Um, as for the rest of this week, um, Thursday, normal time, 7 p.m., we are going to start our Mario & Luigi series revisit in anticipation of Brothership. Um, we will start with Superstar Saga. That is a game probably be in about three days, as long as one of the... Because I, I don't rush through it. I kind of just naturally rush through it, but, you know, I don't speed run it. Um, then Partners in Time, I have not played in a while, but I know the game like the back of my hand, but we'll be fine there. And Bowser's Inside Story, I've only played once. We're going to do all three of those before Echoes of Wisdom drops. I wanted to maybe revisit, um, Zelda Link to the Past before this, but... One, we just won't have time, and two... I always say it's... Zelda games, I stream my first playthrough of them, and that's it. I... I like playing them best not in a stream setting, for some reason. Like, do my first playthrough, do everything, it's like... A big part of the fun is the mystery and figuring out what's gonna happen next. Once that's gone, they're fun to replay, but... I'd just be sitting here not talking. Like, I don't think I could stream a Zelda game despite it being my favorite series. <laughs> Maybe we can make something work in the future, though. But, either way, that's the plan going forward. Uh, Saturday, um, I forgot to mention the time. Saturday will be 2 p.m. It's the last day of the month. I do need to be at work that day. Got to do some paperwork, so we'll start an hour late, but we'll be here. Probably go for about two, three hours. Um, and we'll play some Superstar Saga. I'll try to line up Chuckle Huck Woods, um, so that way... Um, it is Shy Guy Saturday, because that's where the Shy Guys are. Or the Shy Guy-based characters, I should say. One more run of Theme of Shadow before I get going. I will treat you all to that on my way out. So, once again, thank you, friends. Shout out to Bright Nice stopping by as always. Shout out to Seth for stopping by as always. Shout out to my new follower as well. A couple other people popped in here. Y'all are great. Love you guys, and I will see you for our next adventure, starting Thursday at 7 p.m. Till then, my friends, peace out.